Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Kleine Nerf, and this time I'm going back to my wall to get up something to pull up here to show you guys that you guys have actually asked about on more than one occasion in random videos and stuff. It is my Assault Mav. It is nothing more than a, than a better than stock Maverick with a stock from a long strike on the back of it and a Busby Mega Missile which was uh, a small probably mostly unknown to a lot of you guys blasters something about the size of a 3k tank had a lot of hop to it because the glue just kind of fixed on here for a, for a cannon start off with the comfortability of this thing because that's probably the best thing about it everyone looks at that and they're like oh my god what is that and then you hold it up and it fits so well and you might as well go off and get the full experience right now like that with the little cannon on the front of it and you get this utterly awesome even when I'm nerfing with my mask on this thing just feels freaking phenomenal I love this thing it just I built it for an indoor war and I didn't use it all day long until the following year when I finally got a chance to use a thing because I said screw it, it's been hanging on my wall for a year which is also why this one is covered in an absurd amount of dust which is probably still all over my face from getting it up there uh, Maverick does Maverick things. Uh, I spent a lot of time taking them apart, so I get some pretty good ranges out of it for what it is, but I do not have a better spring in there yet. Still intend to buy an orange mod work springs, but because of the way the screws are set up in this thing and the way it goes, it's a pain in the butt to take apart. So uh, someday I'll just go out I'll take care of that, but I don't go to a lot of indoor wars, which I primarily built this for. So going over the back half here we'll just go right into it keeps rolling on with a mad ramble here I used two six round clips my actually last remaining ones and I was going to saw the flaps off this thing till I thought what the hell am I gonna do for dart storage and then I remembered a six round clips fresh right in there so I just left two in and then I can just yank them out at will and do the little revolver pop that Mavericks were good for because we didn't have uh, the strong arm back in the day and that's where I'm guessing they got that and for some reason mine just is not sliding out it is being a pain full out Russian roulette mod because that's what you do on a Maverick and then you give a good old load there and I got two clips one on each side of the blaster get the sucker in there and I spun it like a dope so I can't tell which way it runs I don't remember which way they rotate there we go and then top slide prime bam top slide prime bam top slide prime Damn, ah, oh, to hit the dart. Yes, good shot. Nice shot. God, I forgot how comfortable this thing is. I really, really did. I wish you guys could, I just, I wish you guys could see this thing. My Assault Mav has got to be one of my favorite creations. It is so freaking comfortable, especially with this Mega Missile down here for a grip, which just hits like a truck because that's what they do when you have something the size of a 3K. Typically, like I said, I run it with an Azolber or a Breach, but it will use a three-round hopper, albeit somewhat poorly. You do just drop in around a uh, typical gray slug round crapo in this thing and just hammer the Breach, uh, dang, dang it. hammer that Breach shut, and you give her a pump. And, you know, you might be thinking, oh, it's got a lot of stress on here because he's got that thing put down with just glue and foam. Wrong. Clowny likes to mechanically fasten everything he can. More mods I've done have been scrapped to the woodpile because I could not mechanically fasten something. I do not trust glues. I do not trust adhesives. I do not trust stuff that just will not hold like that. Mechanical fastening is the way to go. When you compare it down with glue and stuff, then it's even better. There is all kinds of adhesive into this thing. It's super glued base over epoxy with glue. Then the screws are glued in so they don't back out. And then just keep the aesthetic down and keep everything down. I got the putty over top. And then I built my own trigger mechanism, which is nothing more than a look around your house for your solution, kids. If you can't find polycarb, you can't find something that goes over, you'd be surprised what you come up with for solution and solutions, because I can't tell you how many times I've used a pen. Yeah, a pen. I used a Bic pen to connect this piece of random plastic trigger with a part of a end of a pipe just a piece of PVC pipe on there so it doesn't cut into my fingers on that thing and it just takes it right in there to the inside of the tank where I put it right fast to the pull pin like on a Busby like a UMB or a Mega Missile or, or, or I guess that's the Mega Missile or an Ultimate Missile Blast or something like that. anything that's got that little pull pin tank on it 
that's what this inside this thing. I just took the end of it, pulled the end off, drilled a hole through and notched it, and then filled the whole thing with epoxy so it's just a direct line pull. And it is tight. It is tight. And you get a very, very nice, just kind of... I don't even know where that went. It hit my wall and completely disappeared. You get, you get a great hammering pop out of this thing, which is one of the reasons I run it with an absorber because in close ranges, if you get hit with a 3K at close range, it really, really freaking hurts. And yes, this is the stock pump, but I didn't have anything else that was going to go past or draw. I didn't want to put another one on the bottom because, once again, this is the early days of me playing Nerf, and this was just good enough. I'm like, God, I can never, ever get over how comfortable this thing really, really is. It's just Ah, oh, God, that comes out like a dump truck on coke. That is so, so heavy hitting. Just heavy hitting, man. Ah, oh, I love this thing. My assault map. Unfortunately, it's going back to the wall to sit, probably for another eternity, to be caked in dust and become a relic so Indiana Jones can find it. Yet another dated reference for everybody that watches these things. That's the guy that plays Han Solo in the new movie, okay? He played Han Solo in the old ones, too. But it didn't. It worked out much better for him in that case. Oh my God! Salt Mav, like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Instagram, Facebook, no Twitter. You guys know what's next, how it goes. Thanks for watching. Clowny watches you sleep. Peace. Love you guys. Thanks for helping me get this channel off the ground.